Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. So welcome to the channel. So today we are going to discuss some questions with their brief explanation. So here we have a first question is that directly compressible diluent having trade name every cell is and the options are option A microcrystalline cellulose, option B lactose, option C starch, option D methyl cellulose. So, which is the correct answer or which is the directly compressible diluent having trade name every cell? So, the correct answer is microcrystalline cellulose is directly compressible diluent having trade name every cell. So, let's discuss with the help of explanation part. Here we have just a table, simple table which is showing that he, these are the directly compressible diluents and the, these are the trade names. So first is the microcrystalline cellulose having the trade name is avicel or emocell where starch having the trade name is star x1500 and sucrose having trade name is sugar tab nu tab or coming on anhydrous lactose it is having DCL 30 or spray dried lactose having fast flow and zeprox as a trade name and where hydrolyzed starch extracts are salutab and mdex and cahpo4 is having trade name is m compress and micro micro fine cellulose is alkema these are the trade names have, have of uh, directly compressible diluents so the correct answer is microcrystalline cellulose hence the option a is the right answer so coming on the next question given below are the electromagnetic radiation and their spectral ranges and effect on molecules so we have to choose the correct options option uh, that is p is uv visible having 200 to 1800 uh, 800 nanometer outer electron transitions where x q is x radiation is 0 0.1 to 1 nanometer rotational transitions r is mid ir 2.5 micrometer to 25 micrometers vibrational transitions s is radio waves that is 1 millimeter and larger electron spin transitions so we have to choose the correct option and the options are option a r option b p q r option c p r option d p q and r so which are these options are correct so the correct options are p and r that is uv visible 200 to 800 nanometer and outer electron transitions and r is mid ir 2.5 to 25 micrometer that is vibrational transitions so here we have a just explanation part on this that X-rays have wavelength about 0.1 to 10 and nanometer and X-ray radiations are emitted by electrons and are ionizing type of radiations. Where radio waves having 1 millimeter are larger and are electromagnetic radiations. So the option C is the right answer. So moving on the next question. All of the following benzodiazepines can be used in elderly and those with liver disease except option A is lorazepam, option B oxazepam, option C triazolam, option D diazepam. So which is the correct answer that all of the following benzodiazepines can be used in elderly and those with liver disease except and the correct answer is diazepam is the that benzodiazepine which is not used. So let's discuss with the help of explanation that benzodiazepines which are short acting and not metabolized by liver includes they are 
that is triazolam temazepam oxazepam lorazepam or estazolam so we have to just learn with the help of minomics that short acting benzodiazepine that is s t o l e stol so the correct answer is d that is lorazepam so moving on the next question diagnostic test for scarlet fever is and the options are option a pre test option b whole bunnel test option d c skewed chart and test option d elec test so which is the diagnostic test for scarlet fever is the correct answer is option c that is skewed chart and test let's discuss with the help of explanation of individual tests is that pre test is used for the lymphogranuloma venerum where pole bunnell test is used for mononucleosis and scarlet fever is used for the skewed chart and test and elect test is for diphtheria so the correct answer is skewed chart and test that is for scarlet fever so this is the right answer that is the option c so moving on the next question in which medium favorski rearrangement occurs and the options are option a in acidic medium and option b in basic medium option c in neutral medium option d in alkaline medium so in which medium favor favorski rearrangement occurs so the correct answer is basic medium the basic medium the favorski rearrangement occurs so let's discuss with the help of explanation or the reaction that it is a base catalyzed reaction how we can say that it is base catalyzed reaction with the help of this we can say that this is the nh is used as a base in this it's a complete reaction so just let's discuss with the help of mechanism that mechanism of favorski rearrangement in in this here oh group first the oh group of naoh that is oh is attached here of naoh and to the keto group at the keto group and the ring will after that open for the uh, for the stability of the molecule so just discuss with the help of paragraph here oh group of naoh is attaching at the keto group that is we already explained you oh of this nh attach this here and the ring will open this ring will open for the stability of the molecule so this is a base catalyzed reaction so this is all about the favorski rearrangement so the correct option is b that is base fexofenadine is a metabolic product of and the options are option a loratadine option b estimzol option c cetrazine option d terfenadine so fexofenadine is the metabolic product of terfenadine how it is the metabolic product of fexofenadine let's discuss with the help of explanation that fexofenadine it is an active metabolite of terfenadine the first second generation antihistaminic that was withdrawn because of several death due to polymorphic ventricular tachycardia it is also known as torsa d pointis and occurring with its higher dose or when it is co administers with ci cyp4 cyp3a4 inhibitor that is erythromycin or clarithromycin ketoconazole itraconazole etc and estimazole is another second generation antihistaminic for the same reason so the correct answer is d that is fexfenadine so moving on the next question kidney produces option a arthropoietin option b adh option c angiotensin 2 option d colsi calci ferrol so which is the correct answer the kidney produce and the correct answer is arthropoietin 
how it is possible or how the kidney produce that we can see arthropoietin it is known it is also known as hemo hematopoietin or hemopoietin and it is a gly glycoprotein cytokinin secreted by the kidney in response to cellular hypoxia and it stimulates red blood cell production that is arthropoiesis in the bone marrow in the bone marrow and low levels of epo around 10 micro mu per ml are constantly secreted sufficient to compensate for normal rbc cell turnover so the correct answer is a that is arthropoietin moving on the next question in the tissue culture all are used as micro elements except option a mn that is manganese option b zn that is zinc option c cu that is copper option d that mg that is magnesium so in the tissue culture all are used as micro elements except and magnesium is the micro magnesium is the correct answer so let's discuss with the help of explanation the types of nutrition in plant is here we have a table that the, these are the in this the micro macro nutrients and the micronutrients given here the micronutrients are given macro carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen phosphate potassium sulfur calcium magnesium and silicon these are the micronutrients hence the correct answer is macro magnesium is a macronutrient not micronutrient where iron manganese copper zinc molybdenum boron chlorine nickel sodium cobalt these are the micronutrients so the correct answer is magnesium it is a macronutrient not a micronutrient and the as the option d is the correct answer so moving on the next question Psychophiles, like uh, files are the microbes which grow at, and the options are option A minus two degrees Celsius to plus thirty degrees Celsius, option B minus fifty degrees Celsius to minus twenty degrees Celsius, option C plus twenty degrees Celsius to plus fifty degrees Celsius, option D minus fifteen degrees Celsius to plus ten degrees Celsius. So which is at at which temperature the psychophiles microbes uh, takes place? option option d is the right answer that is minus 15 to plus 15 degrees celsius let's discuss with the help of explanation part that microbes are classified based on the optimal growth that is optimal growth temperature that is psychrophiles which grow at minus 10 to 15, 10 uh, minus 15 to 10 degrees celsius and mesophiles which grow at the plus 20 to 45 degree celsius where the thermophiles that grow at the above plus 45 as its name indicate the thermophiles above the temperature above plus 45 so the correct answer is d moving on the next and last question that bone destroying cells are called and the options are option a osteocytes option b osteoblast option c osteoclast option d none of these so which is the bone destroying cells are called the correct answer is osteoclasts are bone destroying cells so here we have explanation part that osteocytes it is a star shaped type of bone cell and the most commonly found cell in mature bone tissue and can live as long as the organism itself and the adult man body has about 42 million about of them so osteoclast is and oste where osteoblast is so they are cells with a single nucleus that synthesize bone however in the process of bone formation osteoblast function in groups of connected cells and individual cells where can't take can't cannot make bone so where osteoclasts coming which is the correct answer it is a type of bone cells that breaks down bone tissue this function is very this function is very critical in the maintenance repair and the remodeling of bones of the vertebrae so 
the option C is the right answer, which is osteoclast, that is the bone destroying cells. So this is all about this video. Thank you.